Welcome back Scrap Mechanics, Mahula fans and Mahula friends. You are here because of the title and I'll give you what you want. Uh, this is a second tutorial on the suspension glitch. Now the funny thing is that everyone here already knows what the suspension glitch primarily does. If you add pressure to one side of the glitch, oh, well one side of the suspension, it'll go ahead and um, you know push the rest of whatever it's attached to in the opposite um, in the same direction uh, we already know that now there is a complete opposite effect of the same glitch now if we take a look at normal objects you would think that gravity would act you know that's normal right that looks all normal where that gravity itself it's everything moves freely now when it comes to the suspension glitch it's a little bit different actually um, let's see here I'll show you I'll show you what I'm talking about now if you notice here I will use the weld tool to show you oh no you can't I have to do it on the on the here mm. <laughs> all right let's try this Let's do Minecraft style. Alright, now if you see here, if I use the weld tool, as you can see here, that the surrounding support of the suspension itself is one piece and then the one end, the bottom, in a sense technically, the bottom end of the suspension is its separate block, its separate entity, it's not fused. See, and you can't even do that either. You can't connect both ends of the suspension to the same object. They won't let you do that. But the the point of this tutorial is the glitch itself. Like I said, one end is technically, let's say, the chassis. This is the chassis. And then the wheel itself is right here, the other end of the suspension. Notice that I had surrounded this portion of the other end of the suspension. With that being done, it actually does something very interesting. And I'll show you right now. Let's just get rid of this first. Thank you. Um, it does something very interesting. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Let me get it the way I want. Hmm. How did I do this before? I was able to, I need to knock it over for a second. Thank you. Now see that? Look how slow it's actually, it's even actually, this is a glitch that uh, the developers, I don't know if you know about this, but this is a glitch right here with the physics of suspension and glass. This only does it with suspension and glass is that it does this, but then this is part of the glitch I'm talking about is that with suspension being with the suspension the bottom end of it being surrounded it actually slows down the effect of momentum and gravity you see how slow that is but I shouldn't have used glass because glass itself it kind of, oh it didn't freeze this time but no, notice how slow it falls look at how slow that falls as opposed to um, was it one two three four two eh one two three four and then what something like that it's basically about the same thing, right? Look at how fast that fell. And now look at this. Look how slow that falls like that. Look at that. Okay, so that's the trick right there. And then that's what I did with the walker. That's why the walker can stay on its feet a little bit longer because it doesn't take as much time to fall down. 
and all the mechanisms with the sensors and everything that I built on here takes advantage of that so it 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 takes twice as long for the those suspensions that are in a sense supported I guess I'll call them supported suspensions where that the supported suspensions or surrounded suspensions takes twice as long for them to fall down tip over or turn I don't know what you want to call it so that's why it this my walker our walker is able to stay on its feet because of that but at the same time we did use some suspension glitch um, active suspension glitch in order to keep it upright uh, where that I'll show you here in a second Yeah, as you can see from the previous video, I added a couple of aesthetics to it. I added the air conditioner in the back as a little backpack type of a thing, and uh, yeah. But if you see here, this is what... Okay, I'm going to turn that off. This is what I did. <clears throat> Where that I have... not I have eight... Not nine, because I don't need the center. I have eight suspension in the middle here, because I'm going to... I need... One, two, three, eight, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Actually, that's the funny thing. I'm only using six of these suspensions. I'm only using six of these suspensions to push them in several directions. As you can see here with the, the bearings, I'm using these sensors on the sides so that when the leg on this side is being lifted, the sensor uses the controller to use these uh, these bearings to push in on the suspension so that when you lift up this leg on this side the body tends to tip over this way this pushes in on the suspension and pushes back to keep the body upright so it, the technology is not perfect but it's great at trying to keep the um, trying to keep the body upright and at the same time with the other suspension being surrounded when there's no pressure being added onto it, no force being exerted on it from any uh, sideways motion, then at least it helps keep the body upright by not allowing gravity to affect it so much while it is upright. That is the trick. That is the trick. I'm not going to show you guys how I built it. But that's basically it. Uh, suspension glitch on the bottom for steering. Uh, and then at the same time, if you notice with a build like this, the body will tend to tip back because of the rotation of the leg pivots of the, I guess you could say these are the hip joints. These are technically the hip joints. With the hip joints and the rotational forces exerted on it uh, between the legs and the body, the body will tend to uh, rotate backwards uh, so that's why there's some metal in the front to keep it front heavy and at the same time that's why I have suspension glitches in the back to keep pushing the body forward so that the body doesn't tip back all the time so every step it uh, it gives it a little push forward so that the body doesn't tip back that's what these bearings are for okay so I hope you guys like it. The one thing I never noticed until now, and I don't think that uh, this was a feature in earlier builds, but this current build, I, we were able to connect the controller, the drive, I call it the drive controller, which is going to be our motor or engine for this build. Our center drive controller, which drives the, uh, the legs. Okay, we were able to add it, we were able to connect it directly to the driver's seat. Uh, so that when you press forward, at least with forward, that's what you do. As you can see on the bottom in my uh, my hotbar or HUD, whatever you want to call it, there are no buttons because the controller, the drive controller, is connected directly to the driver's seat, and the forwards and backwards buttons controls that controls that controller. And the funny thing is that the game takes a second for it to think backwards. If you hit backwards. You can walk backwards but the funny thing with that is that it takes a second for the computer to think about reversing the controllers it really does so here I'll, I'll show you how how that count goes Ooh, 
suspension glitch. So it's, uh, and I press it now, and you see it took a whole second for it to start uh, to think about what motion, what to do. But moving forward with the controller is uh, an instant response. All right, suspension glitch, tutorial, walker tutorial. Well, the walker, not exactly walker build tutorial, but at least I show you how I built it and, uh, you know, how we took advantage of the suspension glitch that many people I don't think know about because I hadn't seen anyone make any tutorials on it. Uh, everyone made tutorials on how the suspension can be used to be moved. But then in the opposite way, the suspension cl glitch can be taken advantage of by slowing down motion or slowing down... I don't know how you want to call it. Slowing down tipping or uh, spinning tipping spinning I don't, I don't know I, I I'm not a technical person I am not uh, I am not a scientist I don't know all these technical centripetal force uh, terminologies but yeah as you can see whenever the this here the support actually prevents or slows down any kind of uh, I want to say lateral motion, but I, I, that might not, be, not, might not be the correct term. So hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you love uh, this little tip. Go ahead and take advantage of this. Go ahead and do this. Uh, if you want to take advantage of this cube, I call it the cube. Anyone want to take advantage of this cube design, go ahead. Just please don't take credit. You don't have to give me credit for it, but don't take credit because, yeah, you know, you didn't invent it. Or you didn't discover it. Uh, but yeah, please do. If you do like it, please support the channel. If you guys have any ideas of any other builds you want me to try, or if you guys have any other builds, if you guys think of builds that you want to do for yourself and that this video has inspired you to do, go ahead and let me know. Uh, just because I want to know that I inspire people, that we, the Mahula Brothers, inspire people, and that's fine. Where that, uh, you know, if you guys go ahead and say that, uh, you know, you incorporated this go ahead if you don't give anybody credit if you don't give yourself or me credit for this ad advantage of the suspension glitch I'll be happy with that as well but then I've seen a lot of people on YouTube and I don't mean for me but for other people that uh, you know everyone wants credit for things and wants to get paid and everything like that and it's true I'll admit I I we at the Mahula brothers appreciate that uh, you know when people do things first, discover things first, you know, film things for the first time, that they get credit for it. Um, if you don't give me credit for it, that's okay. But then don't. Uh, I just don't like it when people lie about other things. You know, lie about other people, things like that. Uh, I've seen that on YouTube. I've seen so many people complain in vlogs and blogs about, well, you know, this guy copied off of me and took full credit and won a million dollars for his design and you know things like that. I hate it when that world happens, uh, when, you know, when things make me lose faith in humanity. So guys, come on, go ahead and uh, show your love, give me those clicks, give us the, the likes and favorites, shares, um, and like I said, if this design does inspire you, just let me know and how, how it inspires you, uh, and I would love to share your designs based off of anything we do here on the channel. Stay thirsty, keep frosty, be safe. We take risks for you so that you and your wallets don't have to. Thanks a lot.